Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back once more. How good of you to stick around to our Frostpunk Endless Extreme Steampunk mega city that is growing and growing with the Cold Thumper Injectors researched, which is boosting the output of the Cold Thumper here now to 123 coal per hour that those poor people dig out. Yeah, with a lot of tech now, of course, that is. With that, we can afford actually, I think, or I'm pretty sure, a uh, fifth gathering post now that will be supplied by this if it's not enough no problem this coal thumper is within its range so it can then take both coal thumpers in right so it's no problem if it's not it's more than what this coal thumper handles because we do have another one then right on site and we would have the workforce to also supply it right away with that gathering post is outside we don't need by the way any heaters for these guys here we are overheating and we can save up on a lot of coal uh, just by not simply heating them and this we should also then see right we do see this this is perfect this means life and lots of fires in the future now my next research um wait a second we have yeah lots of steel 200 steel we can go for so we can actually feel the ten the, the tension um the the pressure easing up a bit on us right as we more and more progress into the good tech stuff and we actually managed to stockpile on a lot of things um the overdrive is actually one of my favorite ones that i could go for now hot toss selection would give me more food we don't need it now really but in the future let's go for the generator safety bypass this will um, increase the generator stress 25% slower and it will fall 25% faster. So this is a boost in both directions for that overdrive mechanic that we have there. Another very important one. Uh, next up, we have found the racket steamer. And it must have been racked here years ago. There is some coal and some wood on board. And we can continue... Oh, there's actually two here. Windswept for a buried hamlet. Uh, let's go for the buried hamlet. Ah... Yeah, actually, I'm still looking out for survivors. <laughs> yeah, really, we're super unlucky once more. No survivors, right? And the storm is on the horizon. If we find survivors now, it's once again super late to the party for them. Not something that's ideal, really. It's not. We arrive at the next location. No survivors. Here. Industrial ruins. Ah, that sounds good. I don't think I know this. So, let's go for it might actually be something useful another law we can sign so we had the prosthetics and that's it right i think we are completely done with laws now so there is nothing else that i would like to go for child labor old jobs do not make sense to me organic fertilizers uh we can actually use the dead bodies the organs to boost my hot houses um something that is on cooldown it will cost me three bodies it's not something we need but i'm not going for that I'm feeling confident with the hothouses we have. Um, and we can even boost them further, right? Also, no problem there. Uh, we can also activate all three temple to the sermon. The ceremonial services. And the evening prayers. So as you can see, this is quite severe. Um, on my discontent and hope there. And it did cost me, cost me some food, but we have that. Right, temperature drop tomorrow. Stone obelisk, there's nothing. Stone ship or lying rock. Let's go for the stone ship. And look at my quests. Uh, survive the next storm, bring the relics back to the site, build a transport depot, transport depot. Right, so that's that would be my next goals then for the future. And yeah, we're also pretty full on wood. That's something I don't need to worry about for now. There it is. And as we can see, the next storm will be interesting because it will have two temperature drops at the same time. And this means that with the next storm, we're looking at 120 degrees negative, which is the new record then. Um, so this is also a new type of storm where there's several temperature drops then in one storm. Um, I think it's also going to last longer then. So negative 80 it is in two days. And then we're looking at negative 120. Um, the next drop happened. We can actually still keep the steam level three a uh, two active i think for now that's still safe right it's still livable and it's still also comfortable in those areas without actually having to do anything so that's fine tip from my believer we get the occasional discontent for survivors buried hamlet there you go and yeah a diverse group children engineers and workers let's escort them home this time 22 hours it takes there's nothing else out here that i would need to take anyway uh, that's uh, 10, 
25, 35. Yeah, we should build four more houses to supply them. So that's going to be quite the cost here. But we have time to prepare, right? So I know they're coming. Problem is, as you can see, we're out of the steam hub then. So I will need to get another steam hub going soon. Which in turn costs me again. Steel and coal out of the industrial ruins. A bounty of resources. Sadly, that's not all we find. An avalanche killed everyone who worked here. The corpses have been frozen solid. The relatively light clothes and the insignia of Her Majesty's Prospector Corpse suggests they were explorers sent north to look for suitable places for generators during the onset of the Great Winter. Maybe it's for the best that they weren't there to witness the fall of the Empire. And... Yeah, let's get back home. They're pretty far outside, so it's going to take them some time. And the storm is coming. So, yeah. We actually need to start sending those uh, those uh, scouts back home. Alright, the next homes. And the generator safety bypass. That's a super nice one. I think hotter selection we can actually go with. Uh, since we are actually also going to have a 120 negative. Mm, anything for heating we can still do. No, unfortunately not. Healthcare insulation might be my go-to here. And Hot House would be then the next one for the survivors after the storm. So let's go for the healthcare insulation. We might need it. And I will also need to work on a another infirmary, right? So this is now pretty much done here. There's nothing more we can do within this steam hub. So yeah, we'll actually need to get another steam hub going. And I think we could expand over here now. To get that ring completed right and then we have the industry zone outside so i think let's just see let's build a house here i mean we got the cookhouse there we got the temple there and then we have this road that really i don't need like this let's just get rid of that and build it then again once we have another house then there do some city development there you go. Oh, and with that, we actually lose the the coal access to that right now. But we can quickly build it again. There you go. Stone ship, nothing. And with that, we also move those guys home. They were very uh, unsuccessful, unfortunately. A heat zone has reached the snow pit and the bodies are beginning to rot. What? No, it's just the street is not there yet. There it is again, the street, right? That's all. <laughs> there was no heat zone over there. That would have been crazy. Uh, let's build some more streets here. And then we should be able... Yeah, that's still too close, I think, right? Yeah, we can still go one more outside. So that's another hothouse area than here. And let's not build all of them, of course. What will be fine, so I get that road going. There you go. And then we can have another steam hub out here. Uh, tight one. I think we'll need to go like this actually. And neglect this house here for now. So this will be off for the moment, right? We have built it. It's fine. But we don't really need it for the moment. Nor do I need, of course, the steam hub here for the moment. So I'm, we're still going to turn them off, of course. Not that anyone actually moves in there. This is just a new district for the incoming survivors. And I should also prepare then here definitely a fighting arena. Because those people definitely will want to have some fighting going. Uh, let's just see that we can squeeze them in. And once again. Uh, three. Three. So here I could have the, the fighting arena then. Just behind that steam hub. Oh no. What is this? trying to squeeze it in now here completely that's how it goes all right so we have the space here then for that perfect lots of people look at that after the day ends how many people are flocking back from the industry zone and this only continues to grow then so this is going to be here a pretty major street for all of this
Alright, so I'm sick again. Um, we still need more steel, but I think one of them has steel on board, right? Yeah, 114 steel is also coming our way. Great stuff. And there it is now. Look at that. This will be pretty cold, uh, what we experience now. Storm on the horizon. Forming again. And the survivors are in. With that, we got the 30 homeless. So let's activate now those houses. Right, and let's also activate that team up. And with that, a new area is getting heated and coming to life, more or less. Let's also keep this house there online, um, just in case. All right. And that's about it. Let's actually welcome the other survivor, uh, scout coming in now. We can actually disband both of them. And I would also like to build me now... We have one more steam core. I would also like to build me now that next infirmary by the way food is still fine even with the new survivors in so there all is well let's build that infirmary just behind the other one unfortunately what i can see oops it's not getting heated so we will need to have that infirmary here right where we do have the heating then going it's also not that great to have all the infirmaries in one place i'm definitely going to have one here at some point but not right now Healthcare insulation, just on time, super important, so that everything here keeps continuing to work. And then I might actually do the hotel selection now. Uh, yeah, sounds about right. And then we might slowly start working towards the factory. Let's go with the hothouse selection. Piling the food. Um, and I think uh, we can still go with level 2 for today. Still fine. I would like to squeeze it as much as possible. Let's activate the next infirmary. Infirmary number 3. So we have now up to 60 sick beds available. That are pumping out then those bodies. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright. So far so good. Advanced steelworks. Actually we could. Yeah. I haven't done this yet. We can actually upgrade the steelworks. My bad. Totally went under my radar there, unfortunately. A thousand food in stock. Um, I think we can definitely go there with some ceremonial services again. Scouts have returned with lots of steel. And we can then also disband them. And with that, all the scout teams are in once more as the storm is closing in. The coldest one yet. But I feel prepared for it. Let's activate, by the way, that gathering post. So all of them are now fully working here, leading to a total production potentially of 2,100. Though I think it might dwindle a bit right now. Not entirely sure yet. We have now two additional gathering posts and ready. We are going to need them. And I might actually also really stockpile more resources. So let's have more depots here. going to be quite the construction. So there's my engineers flocking now out there. <laughs> Go for it. And build me those depots. Very good. And we're going to stockpile more coal. For sure. Also some more food. And more coal again. Right. 80 degrees today. Let's actually ramp it up on the generator. Level 3. So what happens now? The temperature still stays livable in the houses. That's fine. I might need to start activating now some heaters. The hot houses are chilly. They can work on that. Um, I would like to upgrade it for the steelworks and the coal thumper. We actually need it here. Ah, yeah, we need it. Yeah, this one is cold now, the steel works. And the, f the steam is here actually freezing. But it's out of wood. And the hothouses have the 15% bonus. Uh, yeah, that steam sawmill can be dismantled. No longer required. And with that, I can now start with another steam sawmill then over here. Right, so that's something we can have then in that field kitchen. Perhaps. I mean... I don't think it's really feasible. 
because let's face it uh, we will need to move them pretty soon but at least for now we have then those two here in one field kitchen one thousand six hundred coal consumption there now of course that's because also that steam hub here is now working it's still livable in the gathering post so there's no need for heaters here And once again, I forgot the upgrade, huh? <laughs> we have enough steel for now, though. But the advanced steel works we definitely should work on at some point now. Right, there's then also my next sawmill coming along. Poof! With 1,700 wood in its surrounding area. We have then here the field kitchen, right? So this is something we can then actually get to work at some point. And look at how much wood we have, right? So we can just walk around here. And once we run out of that, we can then start on the wall drills. But until then, I'm not really concerned. Alright, tech-wise. Yeah, hot house ins cookhouse insulation. That's actually important that we keep the cookhouse running through the storm. In the cookhouse, people actually go to eat, right? This is where the food is also then being stored for people to eat. Alright, it's day 44. We're on the eve of the biggest storm yet. Um, let's once again use my house of prayer there and my temple I could also have by the way another house of prayer for these guys here right so they don't have one yet and of course that should be done because it boosts their hope let's have one here we don't need to heat them theoretically right they don't need to be heated there's no one working here really it's just all about the passive effect. And there it is. Storm number two. Let's ramp it up on the steam level to four. Once again, let's deactivate my hothouses. I will also need to activate my steelworks out here. And this one. Um, here we should still be able to work. And it's actually, for now, livable. The hazard is gone. Um, yeah, and it's actually quite comfortable there still, thanks to the heater. For the gathering posts, I'm still going to keep it offline, the heaters now. We are going to need them tomorrow, but for now, it's fine. And with that, we even have a small coal gain. With the heaters activated, we will lose coal then. And let's also deactivate that sawmill. I don't want to have more sick than I need. The cookhouse continues to work. Tomorrow, it would not work anymore. So this is why we need to have the cookhouse insulation ready that we can continue with this working through the night, through the storms. Negative 100 once more. Meanwhile, the next research has been finished. And with that, we have now all the vital researches that we have. There's the house redesign that lowers the cost of houses. Um, it's not super important as we have a quite a surplus of that. Hotters insulation number two. That's actually something we can still do because we will soon see permanent temperatures of negative 80. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead with this as my next tech. Yeah, and with negative 100, we are actually getting all three infirmaries full, right? We have 60 patients now. We will need a fourth infirmary pretty soon. And with that, the second wave hits negative 120. And with that, we need to activate now the heater for my healthcare. Otherwise, they will not work anymore. The public house is freezing now, so better don't stay there. I will also now need to activate the heater for my gathering posts. And with that, it's livable in them at least. It's chill in the cold thumper, but that's okay. And I might actually turn off... Oh, we already turned it off. Perfect. They don't need to work anymore, right? And as we can see, it is now very cold in the houses too. And there's nothing I can do about this anymore. So it's just how things go. And we'll need to survive the day now and the night with that. The overdrive will help us then. And look at that discontent. Even with everything that we have, it's climbing. Altas insulation. That's going to be nice because we need less heaters then. And here, I think... We could now start with, let's just as a backup plan, go now for the wall drill. We're going to need them at some point. 
Negative 120. I don't want to stay outside right now. Like those people. They just love the cold there. Of course, the hole still needs to come in. Right? So these guys here still work. But not so bad for them. Yeah, we need more steam cores. I need that next infirmary. Otherwise, uh, we're not able to treat all the people anymore. Which is going to increase this content even further. Alright, let's activate the overdrive. This will reduce this content again. Because it's now chilly. <laughs> That's the best I can do. And let's just see how long we can keep that overdrive active now. With the upgrade that it has, right? I hope through the night. People flock to the temple, to the cookhouse that actually still is operate, uh, operable at this temperature. And then they flock home again, hopefully. And it all depends on this generator in the center that is pumping it right now. And with that, we survived. Oh, look at that. 100 sick people right now. I mean, we survived the third storm, but actually took a lot of damage here. That's a lot of sickness right now. Incredible. And the temperature goes up again. We can deactivate the overdrive, go down to steam level 3. 60 degrees it is again. Very warm. Now we need to focus on the sick. Research a bit more. Send the scouts out and yeah. Honestly, the biggest dangers are behind us now. That settlement is pretty stable for me. Uh, we continue now onwards with finding the history, history past, relics, and also start the trading with the settlements in the next episode of Frostpunk. And more survivors, of course. We want to grow. We want to grow. Stay tuned.